Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. Sometimes you'll have problems where you'll have you won't get communication going between your Nexion display and your Arduino or your device. I'm going to show you a quick way to use the simulator in the Nexion to make sure that the Arduino portion is is working. So I just have a very simple Nexion display here. All it has is a number box on it. Um, like I said, very simple. One thing. It's called N0. And what we're going to do is we're going to write data to it from the Arduino. So over here in the Arduino, I have it set up on a mega using serial port number two. And then down here, we're just going to send. Oh, I'm going to put a delay. I don't really like using delay, but whenever you're just doing a quick test, it's fine. We're going to delay for two seconds. So every two seconds we're going to try and send something to that box. To begin with, we're just going to send the same thing over and over and over. It's n0.val, because a uh, text box is a value, and we'll set it equal to 50. And then we have to do three serial writes. But let's um, let's make this wrong at first. We're going to put a, and change this to N1, just so that we have an error condition to start. Now, when you, the way I have this set up um, is I took that dongle thing, I have it plugged into my laptop, and I have the Arduino itself plugged into the laptop, so I have two separate serial ports connected. So if I go up here. You can see first of all that it is the mega, that's what I want. If I go down to the port, you can see that there are two ports, but six is the actual mega. So that means that COM5 is actually serial two out of the mega. Now it also looks like I have another error over here though before I can continue. I need to change this to two. Okay, we'll compile it. and upload it. Okay, so now that we have everything uploaded and working, we're going to go back, we're going to go back to the Nexion IDE. And we're going to run this in debug mode. You go down here and you select user MCU input. COM5 cuz COM6 was the Arduino. 9600, so start. And then you see that the data is coming in here. Now it's not making any change because you remember we are selecting instead of N0, we're selecting N1. But if you want to view the data in string format, so it's saying N1.val equals 50. Well, right there we know we're doing something wrong. And the interesting thing is when you send a value to them, to the Nexion, it replies. We're ignoring the reply right now because we don't really care, but uh, it's just kind of interesting to see that it's functioning just as it should. So now we're going to go back and change this to N0. The reason I did that was to show you that even if what you're sending isn't anything the Nexion wants, it still will show up in this, um, in this window over here. So I'm going to close this. We need to go back over here, change this to N0, upload it. Okay, so now that it's uploaded, we'll run debug again. 
keep your fingers crossed because this is where me and the editor have that bet going more on uh, whether I can get this to work rather than the compiling. So I'll go down here again and hit start. And it did. See it changed to 50. Just like you would expect. So it's a good way to test your signal coming in and then you can also um, check down here to make sure your value. A lot of times what you'll see is see these three FF's? You'll forget those or you may put a space in there. There can't be a space in the uh, that's jumping too fast but in the string there there can't be a f it, see how it says value equals 50 and then there's the, the the dots there can't be any sort of spacing in there if there was a space it would fail I'm gonna do one more test just for just for fun I'm gonna set up a counter I'm gonna set it equal to 1 and then we're going to put the value of the counter in there. We have to turn it into a string. And then we have to increment the counter. So every two seconds we should it should just count up. Oh, didn't like something there. Oh, I didn't put the semicolon. Ha! <laughs> Editor got that round, didn't he? Okay, we're good. Let's go to debug. Hit MCU input and hit start. That's weird. I don't know why it jumped all the way to 36. Let's go up there and see. Val equals 34, 36, 37, 38. I have no idea how that happened. Huh, that's kind of crazy. Those are the things that you that you can discover, and you can see that it worked just as it was expected. That's what we sent it was n0.val equals 40 whatever. So I'm going to close this and look at the Arduino code one more time here just to see if we can figure out how why that happened. You know what I think happened was we uh, we uploaded it over here, and it took time before we were able to get the the debug started so we'll try it again here and it'll probably be up there even higher this time yeah that's it just because you're starting the simulator here doesn't mean you're just now starting the Arduino the Arduino started when we uploaded the code I'm gonna reset it and it should go back to one and there it is this is just a really good way to troubleshoot some problems if you if you're worried that your connection itself is bad but the nice part is you can see the data that's being sent so even if you don't get an output on your um, display you can go down and look at what's being sent and you can see this button right up here you can clear it which is nice and then if I hit reset again then it starts and there's our one two, three, four. So um, it, it really comes in handy for things. I, this Nexion stuff is pretty good for free and with as horrible as their technical support is, at least the product itself seems to be helpful. So, Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.